Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss my top favorite natural hair products. Most of these products I have been using since I went natural seven-ish years ago. And they've been like my bottom thing ever since. The majority. About 95% of this I have used since I went natural. So let's hop right on into it. My favorite shampoos. First and foremost, my go-to shampoo, the Shea Moisture Jamaican, ooh, that glare, so I'm serious. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Cast Oil Line, uh, Strengthen and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. It says it cleans and nourishes natural, chemically processed, or heat style hair. So free, free, and color safe. I have, this was one of the first Shea Moisture products I ever used, and I continue to use it to this day. It gives you that clean without having your hair feel super stripped, but you know that it's clean. And I have a very itchy scalp, so this right here always does the job. Always. And you don't need a whole, whole lot. You just need just enough. I probably use like a quarter amount of um, shampoo in every quadrant of my hair. Like I split my hair in four when I wash it. And my second favorite is also by Shea Moisture. It's the Mafruit. Oh. Mm. Manuka honey, <laughs> since I can't wait, and mafure. I'm going to get my glasses because this is ridiculous. Y'all, I can't see. Let me stop trying to be cute and go see. All right, y'all. I had to go get my eyeballs because I was trying to be cute and I couldn't read. So, this is the Manuka honey and mafure oil and toy <laughs> and toy soup. I can't talk, y'all. I really can't. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm going to get it together. Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo with Fig Extract and Boabob Oil. I could say Boabob, but I couldn't say the rest of these words. That's a darn shame, child. Um, this says to hydrate and replenish dry and damaged hair, sulfate free and color safe. And this is the packaging. Um, I love, I love this shampoo. Like, I really love this one. This is definitely the main squeeze, but when my hair just needs that extra bout of moisture and I'm doing my moisturized wash day, I'm reaching for her because she's going to do the job. She's going to clean me and she's going to keep me moist. Love it. And as far as detanglers, I don't really use detanglers. Um, I'm either using a mixture of natural oils, coconut oil, olive oil. Argon, Black Jamaican, you know, all the natural hair go-tos. I usually mix those up and I'll use those to detangle if it's uh, before I wash my hair, if I need it that bad. But if I just need some detangling quick while I'm in the shower, this, this, this one right here, this Becky, this Becky right here. Let me tell you, she done got her sister out of some tough tangulations. Let me tell you, let me tell you. This is the Aussie Moist. Oh, excuse me. Let me put some respect on her name. Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner uh, with avocado and Australian jojoba oil. When I say slip. I mean, the slippage be so real, if your feet ain't planted right in that child, you falling, you gonna fall. And I'm not joking, I'm saying from experience. This right here though, put a pump of this on your hair, twist that sucker up, don't touch it, wash up. Come back to it after you finish washing up. And when I say them fingers slide like butter, baby, if I didn't have nothing else and I had this, I'd be okay. I swear for Lord I will. I'd be a-okay. I would do my body well. The hair would be so on point. Cause back in the day I used to use this co-wash. So I would slap this puppy all over my hair. Detangle it. Take it through with that wide tooth comb. Come out of the shower feeling like I was chilly from TLC or something with them waves and stuff. I thought I was something, child. Thought I was. Thought. This is the bomb. 
Um, the other conditioner that I love to use to detangle in the shower, I do not have because I used it all up. And I wasn't going to keep around the empty bottle. Is the Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, Sydney. Really? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's Tea Tree Conditioner. The shampoo is going to strip you till tomorrow. Okay? Let me tell you that. But that conditioner. Hallelujah. That conditioner is the bomb. I'm going to see if I can find a pic so I can insert it. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. And it's only like $4. And this big tub is like 4 or $5 as well at Wally World, CBS, Walgreens, all of it. This is easily available. College student. Easily available. So that's what I would use to um, detangle while I was in the shower. Um, you can use, if you pre-poo with conditioner, I'd recommend those as well. I don't because I found that when I pre-poo with conditioner, my hair becomes too mushy. Like it's almost moisture overload. And that's why I just prefer to do it with oil. And it's like, pre-pooing with oil is like doing a hot oil treatment and a pre-poo all in one. But that's neither here nor there. Back to the subject at hand. My two favorite deep conditioners well, I have three, but I don't have the other one. It's, it's empty, empty. Like, I threw it away. Sad face. Um, the first is the Shea Moisture Mongongo in Hemp Seed Oils High Porosity Moisture Correct Mask with Boba Protein and Apple Cider Vinegar. It's this wonderful beauty. First off, don't you love this packaging? I love blue, my favorite color, y'all. Blue be taking me to places only God can guide you. But this is one of my favorites. I love the way this one smells. As you can tell, this one is empty. This gone, gone. Gone, gone. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite deep conditioners. You have to let it sit a little bit before you can get complete slippage. You know, you can't just throw this on and try to run your fingers through it right away. You want to get it some time to sit and percolate with you. And then I'll detangle further because, you know, when you're type four there's never enough detangling you can do in the world so I love this love the smell I don't know if I'm high porosity low porosity and normal porosity because my hair is going through some things right now so I'm I'm just working with what it likes and it likes this so we're gonna continue rocking with it when my hair is toe up from the flow up super matted and it took me forever to detangle even with the Aussie Moist, then I know that this is who I'm reaching for, right here. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafuro Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Fig and Boa Bob Oil. This goes with one of the shampoos that I discussed previously, but I don't find myself using both of them together. I don't know why, I'm just like that. This though, this is that I wore my wash and go for a week and a half straight and then had the nerve to put it in a high puff and thought I was going to be okay. This is the deep conditioner you slap on. Because this going to get you right. They going to let you know. As soon as you slap this on, I put this on and I don't even attempt to detangle with it. I put this on and I definitely let this sit. First off, this baby thick. She thick thick. She thicker, the most thicker than delicious back when she was on Flavor of Love type thick. So you gotta put her on. Definitely let her chill, let her get acclimated, introduce her to everybody. Let her say, hey, how you doing? She gotta go kiss grandma on him on the cheek. Then you go through and you run that, you run that comb through that baby there. She gets you all the way. She gets you right, like, okay, I'm going to be cute. I'm going to be all right. Let me, let me be cute, cute. This is a regular wash day type situation. She going to get you on point. She going to get you on point for the regular wash day. This is a, I done lost my mind because I ain't done that to my hair for a while and I need some act right. She going to give you the act right. She going to help you maintain. She going to give you the act right. 
the third deep conditioner that I love, which is also from Shea Moisture, is the um, Strengthen and Restore conditioner that matches. I don't have a picture of that one either, but I'll try to put it in. It goes with this line. That deep conditioner, love it. Love it. Um, that deep conditioner I don't use every time I wash. Usually I try not to use the same deep conditioner two weeks in a row. Because your hair, just like any other part of your body, gets acclimated to products. So I was once told that you want to switch out your products every 10 to 15 days. So you don't want to use the same thing over and over again. The only consistent part of my wash day routine, which like I said, isn't even truly con consistent because I trade it out with the tea tree from Trader Joe's conditioner, is the Aussie Moist. This is the most consistent. Usually I try to switch out shampoos. If I use one shampoo this week, I try to use another one the next week. Oh, I forgot. Pause. Reminded me. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I try to switch out the products so that my hair doesn't get too acclimated to one product. I know what my hair loves and I keep what my hair loves in the mix. If I'm trying something new, I'll throw that into the rotation and see if my hair likes it, if my hair doesn't like it. If my hair likes it, it'll stay in the rotation. If it doesn't, it's definitely getting the boot. We'll see you next time, baby. Uh, but what I forgot to mention is my favorite co-wash. I only have one co-wash that I really like. And it's like maybe the umpteenth co-wash that I've ever tried. I was going down a long, lowly road when it came to co-washing. First off, I really didn't even like co-washing unless it was with my Aussie Moist. Because if I cannot wash my hair and detangle with this, it is not a co-wash. Because that means it does not have any conditioning values for me. Me personally, that's my personal issue. You choose which will. But it doesn't, wasn't none of other things working for me. No. But then, I looked at As I Am, and As I Am looked at me and said, Sydney, this is what you've been waiting for, baby. Let me give you this. This coconut co wash right here on As I Am's original line, this right here, only thing that can make this better is if they brought it in a pump. If they brought this out in a pump, baby, let me tell you. There would be no wrong in the world. No wrong at all. Because I love me, this coconut co-wash. And it smells good. And I don't even really like coconut. But this, it smells. And it's thick, but it's creamy, but it's thick. So it moves and glides, but it also stays put, if that makes any kind of sense. Ooh, that smells delicious. Yeah, she stays in the shower. Because there's, have you ever had, I'm going to start rambling. Let me not even go there. But I love me, this coconut co-wash. As far as leave-ins, I have only found, yeah, I can honestly say, I've only found one leave-in that my hair loves, 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 loves. There's a lot of leave-ins that my hair likes, and it'll be like, okay, I can put this leave-in in, and I won't have to re-moisturize my hair for like two days. But this, I can put this in my hair, and my hair can go three to four or five days with this and just like a butter or a cream or something on top as a styler but this for the foundation does me right every time and this is oh I need to go get some more I'm almost out this is the Jamaican black cast oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar intensely smooth and nourished natural chemically processed or heat style hair it is the conditioner, leave-in conditioner, that goes with the shampoo and the deep conditioner that I love. Now, I'll use this leave-in with everything. Everything. It's watery. It, well, let me rephrase that. It's more watery than any other product that I've used on my hair. But my hair loves it. It's loved it since I went natural and started exploring natural hair products. This is one that I've always come back to and I've always returned to. So this is my go-to. There's even times that I'll style this with another leave-in to give that leave-in some more oomph. 
this right here, do me right, baby. I love it. Love it. You know, I need Shea Moisture to sponsor to me because I just realized they get all the sisters' coins. Um, as far as... Oh, I'm tripping. I do have another leave-in that I love. But I use it more like a styler than I use it as a leave-in. But y'all know her. Y'all know her. Miss Camille Rose. Um, Curl Love Moisture Milk. A softening leave-in conditioning cream with light notes of macadamia nut and vanilla. This smell bomb. I don't care what it, if it's vanilla or the macadamia. It smells bomb. That I do know. But also, my hair loves this. Loves this. And the funny thing is, a lot of these products I have bought on a humbug. Just be like, oh, it's on sale. Let me try something new. This, this took my washing nose to washing goes. Baby, when I tell you, for about five, six years, I was struggling trying to figure out how to get a good wash and go. You grab this puppy right here. Put it with the, the gel from the line and you you good. 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 The angels are singing. The hair gods are giving the curls all of the popping ton necessary. I love it. Love, 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 love it. Love it, love it. Like, these two go neck and neck. This is definitely wash and go material. This, that's the only style I really don't use this for is a wash and go because it's not heavy enough. But I will put this, if my hair is doing some extra dry things, I'll put this on and then I'll put this on top and then I'll go and I'll do like an updo a protective style, something to keep my hair out so we can relax. As far as stylers, I don't have um, very many smoothies and such like that that I use. Because my aunt, she has changed my life. When she introduced me to this Naturally Nisi Daily Moisturizer, 100% vegan, um, reduces hair loss and shedding, straightens hair, nourishes, and promotes growth, reduces protein loss, reduces frizz, provides a natural sunscreen, moisturizes dry, brittle hair and helps maintain the elasticity of hair. This is a local product to Indiana. Um, I believe you can purchase it online. I'll try to leave details for it below. Um, this is a 100% homemade, handmade product. It's, I love it though. I love it. I love it. It does so much for me by me doing so little. And it's uh, made with shea butter and um, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, lemongrass, essential oil. And it's just smooth and pretty. Oh, and the lemongrass scent. I never paid attention that that was lemongrass. I just knew it smelled good. But yes. This put that in my hair. Anytime I'm doing an updo, I definitely put this in my hair. I don't use it for a wash and go because it's heavy and the gel and it don't get along too well that I prefer for my wash and go. But this, I love this. This is when I'm doing a flat twist out and I want more bounce and how can I put it I don't want a lot of crunch I just want it to be right this is what I'll use in the updos this is what I use is I'm doing my poop puffs not the buns but two puffs I'm gonna put some of this on there especially on the ends it leaves your hair feeling shiny and just moist and loved it definitely feels loved. So I put pop this leave-in on it. Then I'll pop some of this on there. And it feels loved. It feels like I care. I love this Natural NC Daily Moisturizing Butter. Love it. Last but not least, the gels. <laughs> My fave gel. 
fave gels? First and foremost, it would definitely have to be the curl maker. And I love this because it's not crunchy, but it definitely gives you hope. It has never flaked on me, but it definitely gives me hope. You can apply and reapply and reapply and reapply, and she will try her best not to flake on you. Um, but the thing is, once you apply it to your hair one time, you don't have to do a whole lot of reapplying. When I do my wash and goes, and it gets to be about day three and my hair starts looking a little crazy, then I'll go and I'll section my hair in big chunks and I'll spritz it down and I'll do one pump on every big section. And then it'll come right back, boop, right back. That Something about that water reactivates this product so you don't have to put on a whole lot more to get it to where you need it to be. I love this. Love, 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 love. How many times did I say that? You should probably keep a poll on the top I said that this video. Um, one of my other favorite gels, but it's horrible for you, and everybody keeps telling me I need to try to replace it, but I keep trying to tell them until I'm done with this tub, I ain't replacing nada. Now, once I finish with this tub, then I'll try, you know, some of the dupes that they say work better and is better for you. Then I'll try some of them. But until then, me and Eco, Echo, whatever you want to call her, we're doing mighty fine. Yes, she flakes. Yes, we know. But when I want something slick in the bit, I'm going to Eco. She'll never fail me. She has never failed me when I wanted a slick style. Never. Right now, you see this? This Eco did that. Eco got all this thick natural hair to slick to them sides. Don't ever disrespect Eco like that. She may have had a fumble or two, but we still love her. Don't deny it. Y'all know y'all still love some Eco. I love her, but I do want to try that style the uh, style booster. Somebody booster. You know the one Brie Hall and that uh, Half the Community did the little thing going on. I think only, uh, only one Jess did it as well. But I do want to try her. Style Factor. I think that's what it's called, Style Factor, because you got the Edge Booster and the Gel Booster. I want to try both of those. Uh, but these, these are my fave natural hair products. They've gotten me through life <laughs> in this natural hair world. They've always been there for me. And I just appreciate all that they have done. All of it. But these are my faves, no lie. I can't even play around with it. The thing about being natural, once you get your regimen and get your core products, anything else that you throw into the mix, you will know automatically if it'll work or if it doesn't work for your hair. So you won't keep spending money on something that you know is not going to work. There's a couple lines that I do want to try out. Like I want to try out the As I Am Long and Lux line. I've been peeping it, but I've been acting like I've been scared to try it, so I'm just going to try it. Why not? Um, uh, as far as Shea Moisture, I've tried most of theirs, and I know which ones are my favorites. Um, as far as like deep conditioner, I like the Super Fruit condition Deep Conditioner, too. It's not a love love, but I do like it. Um, I see Moist Shampoo is horrible. Horrible. I don't like it. I don't use it. Um... It's not happening. Not at all. But I love these products. They've been there for me. So once you find your core products, or if you have core products, put them comments down below. Let's switch. Let's introduce each other to different things. Maybe your core products are some of my core products. Let me know. Because I'm looking, like I said, I'm looking to try some different things. So if you got a product that you know is bomb, put me up on game, sis. Let's share the wealth. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it all. Bye.